Hey guys, it's Janice. Today I'm doing my first video in my back to school series, which is a drugstore starter kit for beginners. I personally think that the beginning of school year is the perfect time to start wearing makeup. And these products I really, really like. And they're from the drugstore, so they won't cost you guys so much money if you guys are just starting on makeup. So the first products I'm going to mention are face products, because I think having a nice flawless face does you wonders like I could just walk out with like a flawless face without any other makeup and I'll be good so I think that face products are really important so if you guys have like blemishes or pimples or under eye dark or under eye circles I recommend you guys using a concealer my favorite concealer is the Maybelline Dream Mousse Concealer and mine's a medium beige and it has a really really nice kind of creamy thick consistency that pretty much covers everything it's great for covering blemishes and stuff and if you guys want to use it under your eye just like thin it out because you don't want it to look cakey but I think it's perfect for covering up blemishes and it kind of has a pinky tone to it so it's good for under eye too but if you guys have more than like blemishes and under eye darkness like if you guys have like discoloration or redness I recommend using a foundation my favorite foundation is Maybelline's Dream Smooth Mousse. I really really love this because it's super super easy to apply you will never get streak marks on your face and you will never get cakiness if you like apply it nicely like liquid foundation is kind of hard to apply if you're a beginner because it might look streaky but since this is like a mousse consistency it's really really easy to blend in and it won't leave streak marks which I think it's perfect and if you're gonna use use foundation remember to blend it down your neck I hate when I look over at someone and I can see their foundation line like just end right at their chin so make sure you bring your foundation down your neck if you're gonna wear any foundation to set the foundation and concealer I recommend using a pressed powder and my favorite one is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and mine's in the darker shade 05 Silky Beige and it's pretty much gone this is pretty much a blotting powder so you put it in your t-zone to make your face less shiny and you put it on top of your concealer or foundation to make it stay matte for my favorite bronzer I love the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Powder which looks like this and this is just the old packaging and I love it it's a matte bronzer so you won't look like a glitter ball on the first day of school it's great for contouring or just applying all over the face and I love it it's only like three dollars at Target if you guys want to wear any bronzer I definitely recommend it it's not too orangey or anything it's like the perfect shade and I really like yeah you guys probably can't see it but it's matte, so that's why I really, really like it because it's a matte bronzer, and there's not a lot of matte bronzers in the drugstore, so I really, really like this. And then for blush, I recommend using a cream blush because it lasts longer and it gives you a nice glow. And my favorite cream blushes are the NYX cream blushes, and mine's in hot pink. And I've been loving this since, like, April. I know it just got huge from like June or July on YouTube because all the gurus went to IMATS and they like found these and they loved it but I've been using this since like April. I had it in one of my hauls and I absolutely love it. Super super pigmented and I just use a stippling brush with this. You can definitely use a little sponge wedge or you can just use your finger and dab it in and blend it out. I think using your fingers would probably be easier but I just use a stippling brush. While on to eye products, one of the things that I definitely definitely recommend which is kind of scary for beginners is an eyelash curler. I think eyelash curlers does your eyelashes wonders because they curls it up and makes your eyes like bigger and brighter that's why you make your eyes look bigger and brighter definitely try using an eyelash curler this is from elf and it was only a dollar and you can get elf at target or you can get it on eyeslipspace.com and i actually did a whole elf review so i'll link it below if you guys want to see it and then another product that i think that's really really important is mascara and my favorite mascara from the drugstore is cover girls Flash Blast Volume. I think this is like amazing. Gives you so much volume. It keeps your curl. And this is just the waterproof one. And the wand is kind of big. So it's kind of scary looking. But I promise you the wand gives you so much volume. And it keeps your curls so nice. And so love it. Then my favorite liquid liner is the e.l.f. Waterproof Eyeliner. Which is a dollar from the dollar line. And I absolutely love it. And I had it last night. But I have no idea what happened to it. I lost it in like the past 12 hours which is really bad but I'll probably just go to Target and get a new one it's only a dollar let's see what it looks like I had it in my elf review so I'll link that below so if you guys want to see what it looks like check that video 
And then another eyeliner I recommend is a white eyeliner, which kind of sounds crazy, but white eyeliner makes your eyes look bigger and brighter. So if you guys want like bigger and brighter eyes, I definitely recommend using a white eyeliner on your waterline. And my favorite one is the NYX Long Eye Pencil. And I got this off of Cherry Culture, and it was only a dollar, but it was like buy one, get one free. So it was like 50 cents, so I love it. You guys should check out Cherry Culture, or you can get NYX off NYX.com or Ulta, so definitely love NYX. And then for eyeshadow, you definitely need to put on an eyelid primer because you're in school for 6 to 8 hours. I don't know how long you guys are in school, but I'm in school for like 6 and a half hours. So you definitely need an eyelid primer. My favorite drugstore eyelid primer is Else Eyelid Primer, and this is only a dollar. And this lasts really, really long, and it works really nicely. If you guys want a base to put under your eyeshadow and make your eyeshadow more pigmented, I definitely recommend the Revlon Cream Eyeshadows. And these are great on their own too. I really like them by themselves. And I'm on some skin lights. And I love the colors. I especially love this one. This is such a pretty like peachy golden color. So I definitely recommend the Revlon Skin Lights. You can get these at like anywhere for like 6 bucks. So I love them. Eyeshadows, I have two recommendations. The first recommendation I have for eyeshadow is the CoverGirl Eye Enhancers Quads and Trios. I love this one. This has like really, really pretty neutral colors. But you can also do like a nice golden smoky eye. You can do like so many looks. You can do like a simple like no makeup there makeup look. Or you can do like a really dark smoky eye. So I love this one. And it's in... Uh, golden sunset. And then the next one I have is the Wet n Wild Color Icon. Everyone on YouTube loves this and I absolutely understand why. It's $5 but like if you wait at Wargames or Rite Aid they usually have like 50% off so it's usually like $2.50. I got mine for $2.50 and the colors are so so pigmented and I love them. I love these colors and I also love them because they have like one side all matte and one side shimmery and if you're not into like wearing shimmer on your first day of school because you don't want to look like a glitter ball you can definitely wear the matte ones or you can wear the shimmer ones or you can mix them both together and get like use like lid as like a shimmer color and then like highlight as a matte color so I really really like this and I got mine for only $2.50 now on to the lip products my first lip product recommendation is an EOS lip balm and mine is in lemon drop and I love the yellow one not only because it like smells really good but because it has SPF in it so it'll protect your lips from the sun and I love it. It used to come in like a big round ball but now it's like pretty much gone. I've already went through like one of these. I went through the pink one and this is like my second one and I just like started using these like back in December. So I love these. For another lip product I recommend are the CoverGirl lip stains and I don't really know what they're called but I know they're just like lip stains from CoverGirl. You can probably find this in pretty much any drugstore and Target and Walmart and I love these because you're in school for like 6 to 8 hours so you need a lip color that will last all day. So if you guys apply a layer of this on your lips and then put the gloss on it pretty much lasts the whole entire day and this color is kind of dark but if you take it and sheer it out it won't be too dark and I love this color because it's just a nice pink color yeah and it has a gloss on the other side which will make your lips shiny or you can just wear them matte like like this but make sure you put a lip balm on before so it won't look like too cakey and won't sink into your creases so that's basically my whole drugstore starter kit I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'll have my back to school tutorials up very soon and I'll pretty much be using all the products that I mentioned and you definitely definitely do not have to get all the products I mentioned those are just like my favorite products from the drugstore but if you guys have any other recommendations that you like from the drugstore that are great for starters please leave it in the comments below so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, request below, like right here, subscribe up there, and I'll talk to you guys later. EOS lip balm, and it took me forever to find this. I got this back in December, and it's completely, like, gone, if you guys can see. I 